part two fully on course. Citizens have been encouraged to patronize Nigerian local content in order to strengthen the Naira, create jobs for the youth, and of course, grow the economy. Chief Project Officer made by Nigerians MBN Initiative, Chidimal Koli, believes that Nigerians home and abroad can redirect the narrative about Nigeria by joining the vanguard to promote made in Nigeria goods and services. She was speaking in Lagos at an event to empower young people to renew their hope in Nigeria's economy and belief in local content. Let's have this conversation with Chile Malkoli, who is the Chief Project Officer made by Nigerians. She joins us now from our Lagos studio to discuss how Nigeria can regain the dwindling fortunes of the Naira through a renewed commitment by the Nigerian uh, goods and services. Chile Mal, thank you for joining us on Newsnight. Now, the made Hi, by Nigeria. Thank right. you for having me. Right. The Made by Nigeria initiative is a really commendable one. But then, uh, how are you going about encouraging Nigerians in this vanguard? Um, uh, hello, Tolu. Um, thank you for having me. So, um, the Made by Nigerians project, MBN, it's, it harnesses the power of collective action. So we are campaigning through uh, strategic partners um, like institutions, business owners, or uh, entrepreneurs to promote the idea or to promote um, Made in Nigeria, the spirit of Made in Nigeria, to um, tell our story, to retell our story in a way that people continue to remember that if it is Made in Nigeria, it is indeed original. Nigerians are original. We are known to do great things. We've done, we've revolutionized. We've um, sorted some, we've done some revolution in different sectors, and it's important that we continue to tell our stories through our products, through the, our crafts, the things that we make with our, our hands. Okay, uh, well, if you talk about Made in Nigeria product, a lot of people still uh, <laughs> don't have much faith in uh, goods and services. But yet again, are you also considering, uh, because this will help uh, a lot uh, in uh, reviving the fortunes of the Naira. So are you considering getting some ambassadors, Nigerian, Nigerians, I mean, who can serve as ambassadors for the initiative, who can go out there and push your course so that more Nigerians uh, can be one uh, in this uh, regard? Yes, yes. So the idea of MBN ambassadors is central to our strategy, really. So we know that we cannot do this alone. We cannot achieve the vision of the MBN project alone. So right now we are working with, we're backed by a listed financial institution. Um, there are a number of key opinion leaders who have joined us on this journey. And um, we are open, we are inviting Nigerians, everybody who wants to see a better Nigeria should um, reach out to us. Our website is mbn.ng and we are open to working with everybody who's in, who will indicate interest in joining us in this journey. I'm more concerned even about the Naira versus the dollar. How will this drive the value of the Naira so that the economy can indeed be helped? Um, we have to buy Nigerian to promote the dollar. I think that this is something um, that we say all the time. This is something that everybody knows. If we really want to strengthen the Naira, then we must strengthen our economy. And making sure that we promote products that are made locally, we, making sure that we support local entrepreneurs is just one sure way to get us to that destination. Okay, so um, if we're going to drive the fortunes of the Naira and strengthen the economy, uh, we have to really buy local. But yet again, what about quality control in Nigeria? A lot of people want to buy Nigeria, they want to use Nigeria, they want to flag Nigeria, but the quality is not um, encouraging. So how are you working to ensure that, maybe with manufacturers uh, and the like, to ensure that the quality control is something we can be proud of? Yes. 
Um, well, Nigerians do make quality products. And, and I want to say this categorically. We make fantastic products. Um, but yes, I agree that it's important to work with um, relevant stakeholders to um, ensure consistency in quality. Um, so the, one of the strategies or one of the pre, uh, key strategies that we are exploring is working with relevant stakeholders, supporting them to ensure that, you know, there's a standard that Nigerian made in Nigeria products have to meet and that the people who have to meet this standard, that they have all the resources that they need. So um, we are working with stakeholders to ensure that. And um, like I said, open to collaborate with other organizations that are willing to work this journey with us. Interesting. So what are those factors limiting uh, patronizing uh, made in Nigerian, uh, made the Nigeria goods and services? What are the limiting factors? Um, so one of the glaring factor is what you just said, really, or what you just did, which is um, almost insinuating that made in Nigeria products can be inferior, mm. right? So that perception is an issue that we are addressing with this project. Yes. So sometimes when you go to the market to buy something, somebody says, oh, this is original. It is foreign. Mm. And I do hope that, you know, everybody listening to me right now will stop to correct that anytime they hear that being said. Interesting. So, so yeah, made in Nigeria products, they are original and we should we should continue to promote it as such. OK, so what's your message to. Uh, OK, then speak to us about the key performance indicators. How do you get to know if your 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 uh, call is being heated? How do you get to know if, when people begin to uh, better patronize Nigerian goods and services? What are the key performance indicators that will let you know that your course is being justified or fulfilled? Um, so on the broader scale, it would be the increase in purchase of locally made products, in, in domestically, of course. And of course, the volume of exports um, of locally made products. Um, but on a more um, smaller scale, um, from the MBN perspective, we will be measuring um, the impact of our capacity building initiatives on the businesses that have um, passed through us. And also, of course, the um, number of people who are shopping on the MBN platform and promoting our message. Small businesses, uh, small entrepreneurs to thrive. Take that again, please. Are you going to be sponsoring or uh, getting funds to support small entrepreneurs uh, to thrive, budding entrepreneurs? Yes. So beyond just sponsoring um, budding entrepreneurs, we find that a lot of times it's, um, it's a problem of capacity. So some people, while they have access to or while they should have access to resources, um, finance uh, to be able to do well, to thrive in their businesses, they don't actually have the capacity or the knowledge to execute certain tasks, which is why we're not just focusing on giving people money. Um, we, are, we are building a community where um, people share knowledge. There are knowledge sharing sessions where people can um, people can interact with people who are doing well in different sectors and also learn from their colleagues. We also invite um, specialists, especially when it comes to storytelling and brand marketing, to teach entrepreneurs how to better tell their stories. Because you realize that um, a lot of times, even people who make fantastic products and products are not able to tell their stories well, they're not able to better position their brands as luxury. You know, because Nigeria, the, the Nigerian market is full of bespoke materials, full of, you know, handcrafted, fantastic pieces of artwork. But, you know, we're not telling the stories, we're not presenting them in that manner. So they end up being sold um, almost for nothing. So we are building capacity beyond just offering uh, entrepreneurs uh, finance or financial support. 
very much. Thank you very much indeed. Chidima Okoli, uh, Chief Project Officer, Mid by Nigerians, MBN Initiative. Thank you for coming to this night.